This tutorial will show how easy it is to set up Box2 to exchange data between two different controllers of different brands. This has become a quite common use case where customers want to exchange data between two different machines in the same factory so they can work more efficiently together. We will now show how easy this is to set up in Warp Engineering Studio and iX Developer. Normally, the first step when configuring a Box2 device is to assign a new IP address. Warp Engineering Studio is used to create a configuration file containing the IP addresses and other related settings. The configuration file is downloaded to the device via a USB stick. We start by selecting a Box2 Pro device and then dragging and dropping it to the workspace. LAN A and B are assigned new IP addresses, in this case 192.168.11.25 and 192.168.10.25. We type in the device serial number in the property grid. This is used to identify which device that the new settings should be applied to. Right click on the Box2 device and select Generate Box2 configuration file. In the Browse for Folder dialog, we select our USB drive and click OK. The configuration file is then generated and available for usage. Right click and select IX Developer to start the data exchange configuration. Click on the Tags icon in the Project Explorer. Controllers can be added and configured in the Controllers tab. When clicking on the Controller button, a list appears. In this case, we select Alan Bradley Ethernet IP driver. The driver needs to be configured in order to work properly. Therefore, we click on the Settings button. When communicating with Micro 800 controllers, the Enable Rack Position addressing should be set to No. In the Stations tab, it is possible to define the IP address that the driver should connect to, in this case 192.168.11.40. If you are unsure about settings or addressing, the driver help file can be accessed by clicking the help button. Each communication driver has a unique help file. It contains information such as release notes, settings and addressing. Finally, the controller is renamed to AB for Alan Bradley. We now need to add a Siemens controller to the application. Click on Add and select Simatic S7 ISO TCP. The newly added controller is renamed to S7. The driver is configured by clicking the Settings button. And the IP address is changed to 192.168.10.23. The Tags tab is selected, and then the address that should be used in the Micro 800 controller is typed in. The data type is automatically changed to Boolean. Finally, the address that should be used in the Siemens system is added to the S7 column. Select the direction column, a dialog will appear that allow you to select how the data should be exchanged. In this case, the data will be moved from the Micro 800 to the Siemens controller. The configured tag belongs to poll group number 1. We can easily change how fast the driver should try to refresh the values. The poll interval is changed to 100 milliseconds. The data exchange is now configured and the application is ready to be downloaded to the Box2 device. The transfer process is started by clicking the download button. Select the target that the application should be transferred to and click on download. The application is now successfully downloaded and running in the Box2 device. We have now configured and placed the Box2 between the Alan Bradley system and the Siemens system and connected them together with an Ethernet cable. With a simple software configuration, we can now have data flow from one system to the other. And to illustrate this, we can now turn the switch on the Alan Bradley system and the light turns on from the Siemens system.